Yes, let's go. Um, yes, keep me in Acts chapter number two in verse number forty-two. Today, I want to give you uh, some um, some benefits of fellowship, and uh, after that, uh, I am feeling that we are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to do this. About to your soma, Sipia Jumapi. The Bible says they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the and, and, and prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the meat and, and uh, at uh, uh, awe at the meat, many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. What the Walidawa Nahoku Nahoku. Kwa sababu ya miujiza iliyo tendeka, iliyo tendewa na manambi, uh, na mitume. All the believers were together and had everything in common. All believers were together and had everything in common. They saw the property and possession to give to anyone who had need. And verse 46, every day they continued. The word here is continued. We are continuing in the fellowship. They continued to meet together. In the temple, because they broke, uh, uh, they broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. And verse forty-seven, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people, and the Lord added to their number daily to those who were being saved. Wana asipiri, sivet mapiri baadhi ya baba hawakuwepo tu disukumuza baba matete na kufariri kwa ubishon. Ya ushirika na tukasema ya kwama japo moja ambalo inafanya inakuleta pamoja ni kwa sababu ya celebration and when we uh, when these people were celebrating because they were, uh, they were meeting to, to celebrate they continued uh, their, their fellowship by meeting uh, together na inasema ya kwama walikuwa wanasherehekea walikuwa wanasherehekea mali ya baso wamesileta pamoja walikuwa wamesherehekea Bisho ambazo wameuza wakazileta pamoja, walikuwa na sherekea, pia mtungu wa metena, walikuwa na sherekea, watu wa mawa na wakoka, na kina, na kina, na kina, na kina, na kina, zile, ama kura hile, walikuwa wana, wana mbega mkate, pamoja, mkate, wa ushirika. Kwa hivyo ni mbaloe. Na hiyo ni yomote kwa hivyo natuleta pamoja. Jambu ni kine, ambao ni natuleta pamoja, ni kufitis the infusion of the, uh, uh, of the, the penalty. Kule kujitolea kwa ushirika. Tumefika siku ya leo. Kwa sababu tumejitolea katika ushirika kwa watu wa mungu. Kwa hivyo ni mbaloe. Tunafika hili tuwebe kujitolea kwa sababu ya kujitolea kwa ushirika. Na kwa sababu ya kujitolea kwa ushirika. Wengine wanakuwa wa praise and worship. Wengine wanakuwa wa kwaya. Wengine wanakuwa wa waendi. Wengine wanakuwa wa zewa kanisa. Wengine wanakuwa wa mama, wengine ni wazee, wengine ni vijana, watoto wetu na sisi zote kwa huduma zile Mungu ametupatia, twajipeana kwa ushirika. Praise the name of the Lord. Twafanye mambo hayo yote ili ushirika uweze kuwa na na, na ladha. Bwana asifiwe. Ili ushirika ukue na ladha. Wakati ya babo Wa, 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 watu wawili wamekuja pamoja mke na mme wamekuja pamoja wanaendelea kushirika wao naendelea kukua na ili ushirika uwe na ladha zaidi wanaleta watu wengine watoto wa kwao kuna watu wanakuja kutebea kwao wanashiriki pamoja na wao na Mungu kwa sababu anabariki ushirika wao hakuna wakati wanakosa kitu ya kukula katika nyumba ile are we together why kwa sababu Mungu apenda ushirika na ushirika waleta upendo na ushirika unajengwa una juu ya mshingi wa upendo na kwa sababu hiyo hakuna wakati ambapo nyumba ile watu wanakosa kitu ya kukula kitu ya kukunywa hakuna wakati ambapo inakosekana why kwa sababu watu hawa wote wamejipeana kwa ushirika walio nayo praise the name of the lord what about tumeajiriwa kwa makampuni kila mmoja ako kwa idara yake kila mmoja ako katika sehemu yake tofauti na wengine lakini jambo liloko ni kwamba mtu huyu ajitolea kila mmoja ajitolea 
kwa sehemu alionayo manager anjitolea direct manager uh, uh, man, uh, manager direct manager anajitolea manager anajitolea wale ambao wako kwa, kwa upishi wanajitolea ili wale ambao wanafanya kazi wakule na wanaofanya kazi wana wanaoni yule ambaye anapika hakuna kitu wanafanya they all devote themselves in the company praise the name of the lord and for the sake of the profit of the company why kwa sababu wakati kampuni hii imeinuka mishahara inaogeshaka mm si ni kweli wakati ambapo kampuni imeanguka watu wanafukuzwa kazini si ni kweli so kila mtu kwa uwezo wake anajitolea kwa hivyo we come together because we devote ourselves to the fellowship na kile ambacho tuko nacho the other thing about tuliona ni kwamba we come together because of the common faith common faith common faith imani moja siku ya leo niruhusu nisiende huko sana lakini ni nikwambia ya kwamba rap sustains fellowship of the believers rap sustains the fellowship of the believers upendo waeke hiyo i love sustains fellowship of the believers if you don't mind we can read romans chapter number 12 and if you can you can reach up to number uh, from verse number 9 up to 21 but allow me to read a few verses yes romans chapter number 9 uh, chapter 12 you give me la, verse number 9 Raf must be sincere when we are, when we wakati ambapo tunapoongea kuhusu Raf must be sincere tunasema ya kwamba if the if fellowship inajengwa katika msingi wa upendo la, sasa upendo huu unafaa kudhihirisha Raf must be sincere if Raf is sincere and must be sincere he is kuombwa upendo katika ushirika sio kuombwa paulo anaambia awarumi lazima upendo uwe sincere uwe dhahiri uonekane udhibitike isiwe kitu ya kutafutilia are we together unanielewa sijui kama mnanikamata vile ambavyo unasema upendo katika ushirika haufai kuwa unatafutiliwa ni kitu ambacho kinajileta wase wanapokutana pamoja upendo hautafutiliwi unapatikana kirahisi praise the name of the lord kwa jamii mke na mume na watoto wake pamoja na extended family yao hawafai kutafuta upendo unafaa kuwa dhahiri unadhihirika kirahisi unaonekana hata kwa nyuso sao bwana asifiwe and why must be sincere Paul is very clear anasema why makes this love to be sincere in the fellowship why it is because you those people who are in the fellowship the fellowshipers wale ambao wanao shiriki pamoja they hate evil they hate what is evil i don't want to explain more about evil because i want to have time to pray with you and we pray together but in the fellowship they hate what is evil they hate evil and that kuchukia ubaya inafanya upendo kudhihirika in other words kuna mtu ambaye anaweza hesabu ubaya wa mtu mwingine why because there is love if you go the same uh, uh, to the same uh, to the another letter ya Paul in the book of um, in the book of first corinthians anasema ya kwamba love covers a multitude of sins if you connect the two if you connect the two then you see that the foundation of love is very key in the fellowship together bwana sipiwe Are we together? Yes. 
And also, when they hate evil, they cling to what is good. Let me explain to you this. When Paul and Samuel Yakoba, you hate evil. Nikuachana nayo, sinikweli. But anasema, when you hate evil, then you cling to what is? Unakupatia. Unasikamana. Unahangi. Naona, unahangi. Yourself. Kwa mambo ya rio mazu. Kwa ushirika. Praise the name of God. In other words, you go back to, to, uh, to Paul's letter to Corinthians. Na unasema ya kwamba, because I hate evil, uh, my wrath in this fellowship will recover a multitude of sins. Together. Kwa nasiwe sana. Nataka kupereka vizuri. Kwa sababu mimi sina haraka. Nataka kupereka vizuri. When you cling to, uh, to, the, uh, to what is good, give me the other verse. Then, you come to what we are talking about in the book of Acts chapter number 2 and verse 42. They devoted themselves. Then, be devoted to one another in, are we together? In love. So whenever I look at Moses today and tomorrow and the other day, I will not see the Moses ambaye pegine watu wanaongea mambo yake. I will see Moses who ambaye amependwa na mungu alie nipenda. In other words, you give yourself to one another. Mm, sana. Am I saying uh, something that makes sense? And when somebody, you can buy a medito aquake, you cannot count any evil. And buy a mekutelea. Together? Because of what? Because of wrath. Then it, it takes you to another level. This love, this foundation of love in the fellowship. It takes you to another level. And the other level is honor one another. Honor one another. Above yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, if I look at chairman, nina muona mimi ni mchugaji, lakini na muona akiwa mzuri kuniliko. Kwa nasipiwe? Mtu mzuri kukuriko. Kila wakati waogea mazuri ya kwake. Kila wakati wataka kumuinua. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I, can I demonstrate something to you? That you can get what I'm saying? The Bible says, God gives strength to the weary. Can you query? He gives strength to the weary. Why do you become weary? Kwa sababu ya kazi unatosifanya. Inikweni. Now, when you honor one another above yourself, kuna kasi nyingi ambayo umefanya ni kwa sababu kila wakati wasifu mutu ambayo ni waushirika wako. Are we together? Then, sometimes you become weary kwa sababu Ya kila wakati, watu wanapo taka kuogea mambo ya mzee wa kanisa, wewe uko pale, wamuinua kila wakati, na wasema musiguze huyu. In other words, una, unaona, unamuona, you honor. Are you getting what I'm saying? In other words, kasi yako nyiki, ni kuhakikize ya kwamba, wewe ni kama ukuta, wewe ni kama uwa. Ambao wa singira kila moja. Especially to those people who are of the same family. Are we together? So, because of that, you become weary. And that is where God gives strength to the weary. Praise the name of the Lord. Nguvu, when we are talking of the, this, when this text, inaongea mambo hayo, Yaongea mambo ya kiroho, hayogei mambo ya kimwiri. Kwa sababu, mtu wabaye anatebea, 
akichoka ahitaji kupumzika akure na akunywe na aoge na alale kesho aanze safari ni kweli hiyo hai, haina principle that's the only principle isn't it that's the only principle but spiritually you need god to strengthen you si ni kweli you need the encouragement even jesus alipo enda katika the garden of gethsemane na aliomba mpaka matone ya damu ikamtoka kama jasho that time in hakuhitaji chakula the bible says the angel from heaven akakuja and he strengthened him praise the name of the lord this is the strength i am talking about but this strength in a, it is power in the fellowship are we together are we together yes give me the other verse then i try move from there never be lacking in zeal but keep your spiritual fervor serving the lord praise the name of the lord these people were devoted to serve the lord and not only serving the lord they were serving the apostles they were encouraging the apostles to continue and this and the church grew numerically physically even spiritually people are going to send even anania to share the land the anania we read in acts chapter number 5 it is from that, that it was that that spirit it is jengwa katika mistari ambayo tunayosoma praise the name of the lord be never be lacking usikose ila zil usikose katika mwito wangu nisikose but to keep my spiritual vibe serving the lord bwana asifiwe hallelujah are we together unaweza niyekea ya kiswahili kwa karibu Kaidi iko karibu that that verse. Eh, tusome sisi wote. Kwa kwa bidii. Eh, tusome kama watu walienda shule. Yes. Pole pole. Mhm. Mm kwa bidii. Bila kulegea. Mkiwa na juhudi katika roho zenu. Mkimtumikia. Kwa kwa bidii bila kulegea in the fellowship when there is no rough watu hulegea ni kweli in the fellowship when there is no rough when in the fellowship when upendo umedidimia kubuka upendo huu ni wa mtu na mwingine si upendo kwa Mungu si ni kweli ukididimia people with the draw si ni kweli people with the draw even in the good things of the law people with the draw si ni kweli hiyo ina maanisha nini kuna kitu ambayo imepunguka kwa maisha na kwa hivyo mtu hulegea but in the fellowship you are encouraged to keep your spiritual fervor Bwana asifiwe. Mm, give me the other verse. Kwa tumaini mkifurahi katika dhiki mkisubiri mkidumu katika kusali bwana asifiwe sitaki kuendelea sana lakini give me verse 20 i think verse 20 give me verse 20 ifunga ukurasa huu unaweza enda kusoma yote from 9 to 21 and you see the good things that are in the love lakini andui yako akiwa na jaa ni wapi sasa this is the same scripture aha lakini andui yako akiwa na jaa mlishe 
Q1 na Q. Huyo anaogea mambo ya nani? Ya ndui. Si ni kweli? Sasa nataka kukujenga katika ile mambo nilikwambia kwanza. Lakini adui yako akiwa na jaa, fanya nini? Mulishe. Akiwa na na Q, fanya nini? Aha, maana ufanyapo hivyo utampalia makaa ya moto kichwani mwake in other words hata sahau ya kwamba wewe yeye ni andui lakini hata sahau ya kwamba wewe una upendo mwingi wakati ulimpata hana nguo ulimpatia nguo wakati ulimpata akipigwa uliweza kusimama kwa niaba yake Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati ulipo alipokuwa amekosa ya jia, ulimwonyesha jia ya ukweli. Bwana asifiwe. And I want to wrap up this. Na nisema ya kwamba in the fellowship of the believers, katika ushirika wa waaminio, tume 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 liganishwa na ushirika wa wa the holy trinity the three godhead god the son god the father god the son and god the father the three katika maandiko haya twasoma hakuna mmoja aliye complain na hakuna hata mmoja anaye complain i have done a lot more than him bwana asifiwe sana hakuna mtu ambaye anasema ya kwamba nimefanya mengi Yesu asemi ya kwamba nyinyi niliwacha hapa mkiwa na roho nilienda kule kukufa nyinyi hamkuteseka They are in the fellowship they encourage one another When Jesus was on the cross God was there for him hmm, Praise the name of the Lord and this is the unity that I am talking about Even Paul in the book of Ephesians analinganisha ushirika wa nyumba ya Mungu na mwili who ambao and also the book of Corinthians na mwili huu ambao tuko nao mwili una viunga nyingi lakini viunga hizi zote tatumikia mwili huu hey mwadani agosho nafikiri mugu unaweza kuwa unateta sana kwa sababu kila wakati ndio unagongwa na mawe ndio unatembea ndio wafanya nini mambo kama haya si ni kweli lakini mugu hujawahi complain kwa kichwa ambayo kila wakati inabebwa Bwana asifiwe Haleluya But in the fellowship of the believers pia kuna kuna susu susu nyingi sana katika ushirika wa watu wa Mungu kuna 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 mambo mengi ya furuta wengine ya kula wengine mpaka mwingine unajua eh Unaona unaona una una wagabu wanajua buibui The spider eh? Unajua spider inajulikana kama insect it is a it is in the group of insects Spider eh? Unajua pia nimezeeka so nimekaa kam iko iko kwa iko kwa nini ya ya, ya insects Yes Hata kama nimezeeka sijasahau nyingi Bwana asifiwe Inajulikana kama insect baya inajua kukura kukura vizuri. Ikishika inzi inakura dani. Si kweli? Inakura inakura dani. Alafu inaacha inzi ikiwa tu vile. Lakini ukifinya ukiguza ile inzi ina, uki, ukienda pale kwa ile webu yake ukute hiyo inzi pale unaweza sema iko hai. Si kweli? Lakini ilikura dani ikaacha gozi ya nje. Ni kweli? Ukienda ukuguza hiyo hiyo kitu si ina, inaboreka mara moja. Hivyo ndivyo watu wa Kristo wa siku hizi katika ushirika wako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Guza mmoja. Guza mmoja. Ukumguze tu hivyo anabodeka kama hiyo inzi. Mimi sitakuwa kwa hiyo kanisa hata sitatoa sadaka ya agu. Nini nini si hivyo ndivyo iko? Bana sifiwe. Unajua kuna wakati hapa kanisani watu walikaa hivyo. Paka walikataa kutoa tai. Hapa tu. Nikiwa tu mchungaji hapa tu. Yoniede. 
Yere ya, si ni kweli. Lakini mungu ni mwaminifu. Wana aswe sana. Why? Ni kuria. Ama ni kinga. Unajua nyi muna fanyana na kuria na kinga. Wana asifu sana. Guza kinga akiwa kwa ushirika. Na mabo hayo abawo ni mayataja haiko dani yake. Mguze kidogo tu. Akibodeka hivyo, hii kitu anatoa. Hii. 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 Na maanisha anawidiru kwa kwa ashas. Ashari. Ngezili. Na in the first place, hakuna mtu alimuita kwa, kwa hii. Nye alijiti. Na haka kuja na haka sikia mungu wa memuangereza. Sini kweri kuria. Sini kweri. Sasa. Nani, nani mumbaya? Ni, ni, ni huduma ambayo mungu alimpatia. Ni wakovu wabawu kwa dani yake. Ama ni yeye mbaya. Kwa nasipe sana. Ni kwa sababu ya complain. Kwa nini tuko hivyo? Na siyo. Sasa hii siya hapa. Ni haku uko inje. Ni hawa uko inje. Kwa nini tuko hivyo? Ni kwa sababu ya complain nyingi. Praise the name of the Lord. If you have been the ministry for many years, you complain kwa sababu kuna wengine wamekuja nyuma yako. And you want to, you want them to fit in. They cannot fit in. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together? Ni vizuri ni muabia ukweli. Ni vizuri mtu ni viungo vya kevyote. Viwe sinafanya kazi bila kungengana. Na bila kukomplain. Hey, your neighbor never complain. In fact, kama kuna kitu wabayo mungu wanachukia, it is complain. Mungu walikashirika na wa Israeli kwa sababu ya complain. Wali nugunika sana. Inaomba katika jina la Yesu. Ya kwamba, tusiwe tunanugunika ya kwamba mimi nimehubiri mara nyingi. Nataka muzee wa kanisa hubiri. Mimi nimehubiri siku nyingi. Nataka hata hawa wazee wa hubiri. Ama wao nimewapatia siku nyingi za kuhubiri. Pasta nakaa hivyo wa hubiri. Hmm, Bwana siwe sana. Wacha kila kiungo kwa sababu Paulo anasema ya kwamba mwili huu kanisa sisi zote ni kanisa ni viungo za kanisa wacha ufanye kilicho chako katika ushirika Bwana asiye sana Let me not go to that and I give you uh, common things that encourage us Common things some common things, some few common things that, en uh, uh, that encourage us. Can you give, uh, do you have them? Yes, give, give me those very quickly. You highlight them. Some common encouragement in the New Testament believers to relate to one another. These are pr practical ways. These are pra mambo ya, mambo ambayo niya, niya pra the practical, practical things. They are not spiritual. They are practical things that are in the New Testament and we build our church we build our faith in the New Testament church, in the New Testament church um, uh, uh, for the, uh, the believers because we are built in the, in, the, in the foundation of the apostles and also uh, the prophets. But this is very practical to the uh, New Testament church and also to our church today. Number one, it is be devoted to one another. Be devoted. Here in I don't need to, to go uh, to it again. Nimeerezea sana. Be devoted to one another. Number two, give me number two. Would you tell me a mwingine? To live in harmony with one another. Live in harmony. Nime mwabia hiyo. Kuhishi katika, uh, 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 katika umoja. Kuhishi katika ila tunaita harmony. Katika jina la Yesu. Stop passing judgment number three. Never pass judgment on one another. Usiwe una um, waharaka. Even Jesus said, uh, 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 usihukumu. Ile usije ukahukumiwa. Bwana asifiwe. Usihukumu usije ukahukumiwa. These are the practical things that are needed. Accept one another. Accept one another. Accept one another number 4. Kubali kila mmoja. Kubali kila mmoja na udhaifu wake. Let me tell you. Next time I'll talk about calling. And I'll tell you ya kwamba calling is not about who you are. Hallelujah. Are we together? Calling is not about who you are. Calling is all about what. Mungu anataka uwe kesho na kesho kutwa. 
But let me, I, I, I'm not talking about the calling, but I will talk about calling. Serve one another. Number five, serve one another. Serve one another. Serve one another. Tumikia mtu mwingine. There are scriptures there. Be kind to one another. Be kind. Number six, be kind. Be kind to one another. Be kind. Number seven. Forgive one another. Forgive one another. Forgive one another. Forgive one another. And number eight, this is very key. Very important. Spare one another on to love God and good. Spare one another on to love God. Kologa mtu mwingine. Kologa mwenzako. Kologa rafiki yako. Kologa mpenzi wako. Kologa adui yako. Kumpeda mungu. Na hata matedo. Mazuri. Wana sifiwe. Spar one another. Spar one another. Do we, the question is, do we spar one another? Can you give this, uh, this scripture? Hebrews, give me Hebrews chapter 30. And, and we leave. Very important. You there? Hebrews 10.27. Uh, Hebrews 10, 24, yes. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Give me 25. No, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. They are in the habit of forgetting. They are in, a, in the habit of uh, uh, not meeting together. But encourage one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. Which day? The day of Jesus Christ. The day of laughter. The big day that every one of us in this congregation is waiting for. As we see that day approaching, let us power one another to love God and also to love good things. That is the fellowship of the believers. And those are the practical things that are supposed to be in the fellowship of the believers, genuine believers. And the other one is there, uh, number nine. Do you have number nine? But number nine is fellowship with one another. Fellowship with one another. Fellowship with, with one another. Let me very quickly let me give you the benefits. Very quickly are the fruits of the fellowship. These are very key. The three of them, then we pray together. One as if you were there. Ina, inajenga, inajenga kitu dani yetu. Inajenga kitu dani ya mio yetu. Yes, benefits all. The benefits of genuine fellowship in the believers. This is the church. This fellowship that we have been talking about since Sunday and today. Number one, when that fellowship is there, it creates unity of purpose. Wa, 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 wanasiasa, di wanasemanga. The unity of purpose. Those people who have the same mind with us. And today we have them. And they are saying that um, we want to meet. We want to, we want to have alliances with those people who have what? Like minds, isn't it? Yes, when people come together. When people come together in fellowship. And they are genuinely fellowshipping. For the sake of God and God to visit them, then in Psalms 133, it becomes their portion. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor from today. Psalms 133. As I come to this church, will be my portion in Jesus' mighty name. Can we repeat again? Can we repeat again? Tell your neighbor. Neighbor. From today, as I come to this church and fellowship genuinely, Psalms 133 will be my portion. And this is my prayer. I have been praying for you and myself and for the church that whenever we meet together, 
Charms 133 becomes our portion. Hmm, more than Yagosho. Are we together? What does Psalms 133 say? What does it say? How good. Let's read it together from where uh, it starts. How? Let's read it together. Uh, nafraha, na kwa sauti. Uh -huh. One, two, three. How good and prison it is when God's people live together in unity. Before we proceed, verse number one. Inasema aje. Inaogea kuhusu hawa watu wanaokutana. Sinikweli. Inasema how good and present. How good. It is present in the eyes of the Lord. When we have genuine fellowship. Bana sifiwe. Madani Agosho. Wakati ya bapo tunawushirika wa kweli. Comes one that three. Yahudi anaisugumuza vizuri. Na anasema how good and present it is. When God's people, we are God's people. We lean to live together. Now, when we are living together, we are fellowshipping, isn't it? Yes, we are fellowshipping. And uh, the fellowship of God starts from one, two, and above. That's what Jesus said. Whenever two or three people meet together for the sake, yangu, mimi nikot pamoja na wao. So, when we are fellowshipping, it doesn't matter the number. Tell your neighbor, it does not, uh, the number does not matter. Praise the name of the Lord. All what matters is whether the presence of God is in that fellowship. That is what matters. The number does not matter. It is whether that, and anasema, uyu mutu anasema, let's go back to the Psalms, uh, that, that three. And that three. There's only three verses. Lakini iko na uzito. When these people are living in unity, this genuine fellowship, one of the one of the blessings is that it creates it creates unity of purpose. These people, they have purpose, they have one purpose. They have one purpose, and that is why even the even the even the politicians want to put a word to about they are right-minded. They come together, they reason together, they work together for the sake of winning the elections. Are we together? But we are not winning the elections. We want to win the heart of God. We want to win the heart of God. And when we win the heart of God, what does it, what the Bible says, verse 2? It is when this, this pressure, this, 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 this uh, present, this, this atmosphere, this is what happens. It is like a precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the corner of his robe. Can you see that the lighter is expressing and is emphasizing something? He's saying the anointing goes. The anointing never goes up. Hakuna anointing. Hakuna upako. Ambao hueda juu. Upako wote wa shuka chini. Praise the name of the Lord. Siku wabazo sinakuja hivi karibuni. Utaona ibada kama hiyo. Ya kubariki watu. And I have pleaded with my bishop. Because I saw. Haya kwamba mafuta inamuagwa siku hizi. Na ime kubarika sasa kwetu. Siku hizi. I am pleading with him. When he will come here. Together with, with the delegation for a certain purpose. Atu muagiria mafuta. Wana sifiwe. Na mafuta inapo muagwa, hai muagwi alafu inapada juu. Let me show you something. Wakati ya bapo inamanza hivi. Wakati ya bapo ina muagwa. Ina muagiriwa hitha kwa kichwa. Tana sana ina muagwa kwa kichwa. Sini kweni. And this is what the Bible says. It is precious. It is like a precious oil. Poor on the head. Yeah, Aaron. Who was who is who was Aaron? Was a priest, isn't it? Was a priest of Israel. It is right. Mungu amekuja na namuaga mafuta juu ya kichwa ya Aaroni. Hamuagiri kila mtu. Na kwa hivyo, anaruhusu mafuta hii. Italamuke down and down and down. 
kwa kila mmoja. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me show you something. Wakati hapo imeteremka imeamua kwa kwangu mzee naye anaruhusu inateremka kwa hawa. Praise the name of the Lord. Ikiteremka kwa hawa ana wanao wanaruhusu iteremke kwa viongozi wa wa vikudi. Na viongozi wa vikudi wanakubali iteremke hata kwa yule mshirika ambaye mnaweza sema sio mimi, nyinyi mnaweza sema ya kwamba ni mdogo kwa wote. Are we together? And that is how now give me the other verse give me the other verse it is as if the dew of hamon were falling on mount zion kule ambao kuna kauka sana wakati ambapo ama wakati ambapo mvua imenyesha na imekata na maidi ama ama mimea haiko imekua kuna kitu ambao inaitwa morning dew isn't it morning dew ina 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 inafanyanga aje inaenda ina 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 ina, ina, ina inatapakaa kwa tawi ni kweli ni kweli inatapakaa kwa tawi alafu ukiwa asubuhi wakati wa kale kajua kale ka asubuhi ni kweli kwa kale kajua ka asubuhi hiyo jua inachoma ile uh, dew alafu inakusanyika yote inateremka sina matawi nilisahau ni, ni, kufikiri ina unaona vile nina roho kama ningekuwa ya mwili ningekuwa ningebeba matawi allow me to Naona hii. Sasa dew inakuwa ile morning dew, ile maji ya asubuhi, yeah? the morning dew, isn't it? What about tumelelewa wa kisagi wanaelewa? Wale wa Nairobi waachana na wao. Hawezi elewa hii. Hii inateremka, inakuja hapa. Is, uh, is, bana sipiwe acha nasahau na masomo hadi hii ya acha ina ina mwanga alafu inaenda kwa muti naona inakuja hapa kwa muti hii muti huu unaachilia hii maji inateremka mpaka kwa mizizi hakuna mvua lakini hiyo morning dew ndio inasaidia muti huu kwa sababu maji hii imeteremka vizuri Uh, hii tawi haiko hold maji na nielewa pia ilipokuja kwa stem haiko hold maji iliende mpaka kwa mizizi na kwa sababu imeigilia mahali muti huko huo mti kila wakati unakaa green mpaka mvua ikikosa kujesa mahidi inavunwa kwa sababu kuna kunya unyevu na inasaidia mizizi kutengeneza chakula kama nimekosea ama kuleta chakula ama kutafuta chakula inatengeneza kama chakula ama imeleta kama chakula inatengeneza eh eh hey, kuku hawa watu hawa hawa watoto wetu inaruhusu kuchukua ma, ma, mita, mata, ma, ma, mizizi kuchukua chemichemi na kuchukua viungo ambavyo sinahitajika kutengeneza chakula ya mti hata kama kuna juu this is what now it is hii kitu inaenda it is as it is the new harmon were falling on mount zion for there the lord bestows his blessings even life evermore this is the secret mti huu hakuna jua si ni kweli hakuna mvua lakini umeweza kustahimili kwa sababu ya morning dew are we together mmm wadhani ya gosho sio kama mmekamata kitu hapo Mekamata kitu hapo. Na kwa hivyo anasema hapa anaamuru baraka. Mti huu unaishi ukiwa green hata kama kuna jua na mvua ilikwisha. Just because of the money, hivyo ndivyo anasema. Hivyo watu wamekaa pamoja katika ushirika. It is like a, uh, it is like a that dew from Mount Hermon that is falling from Mount Zion for there. God bestows the blessings the blessings that are in acts chapter number 2 and verses number 47 where we read bwana asifiwe sana allow me to stop at that point and um, i don't know whether uh, it will be possible on sunday but just put a comma mahali ambapo tumefika sawa sawa is it interesting is it interesting 
to know that fellowship of the believers is important. It is important kama vida wewe kulizaliwa. Bwana siwe sana. Ushirika wa wandugu, ushirika wa vijana wetu wakiwa pamoja ni wa maana sana. Ushirika wa wazee wetu ni wa maana sana. Ushirika wa wamama wetu ni wa maana sana. Ushirika wa wadugu katika nyumba ya Mungu ni wa maana sana na unaleta baraka. Bwana siwe sana. When people come together genuinely, this genuineness creates the atmosphere of unity. Praise the name of the Lord. And let me tell you, next time I will explain to you, with the mungu anapedeswa na ushirika. Wa upendo na ambao una umoja. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't have time to explain to you, but the next time I will explain to you. May God bless you. Inuka na mguwa wako mahali ulipo katika jina na Yeshu.